don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're going to be showing off some recent gaming finds. Now, let's see if we can get this camera to focus here. All right, there we go. Hopefully it stays like that. All right, so two batches of games here. Uh, the first batch is kind of like a, a little bit of a trade that I did with uh, a friend, Joe. So, traded off some Game Boy games, and in return, I got some more Game Boy games. So, I got the amazing Spider-Man, as you can see there. The nice uh, Game Boy case right there. It's in good shape. Look at that. We got the... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 back from the sewers. Uh, this is definitely one I did not have. And I will definitely be playing this on a future Memory Lane episode. Now let's figure out if it's a bad or good game. So let's check it out. And of course we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan. Now I, I actually had the Japanese version of this game I believe somewhere over there. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see the uh, difference in uh, label art. Let me see if I can go grab that real quick, actually. S stay tuned. I'm going to go grab that and see the differences. Alright, so here we are with the uh, American version right there. And I believe these are the same games. And then we got the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Japanese version right here. And I'm curious to try both of them out. I'm pretty sure that they're both the same. Now uh, we'll check that out in a separate episode. I'm going to try to hunt down the other Turtles game as well. Some of it's a little bit more expensive, but... And check that out. Which label art do you like better? The American or the Japanese? I, I actually like the Japanese version better. That looks really cool. But just give a shout out to Joe for hooking me up with those uh, three games. He also... Hooked me up with some uh, Dreamcast games here. Blue Stinger. He threw that into the uh, trade. Pretty much gave this to me for nothing, which is pretty awesome. You got the Vigilante 8 Second Offense advertisement right there. Now, Blue Stinger, I do remember playing this briefly back in the day. We'll definitely check this out on a future episode of Memory Lane. And this is uh, rated M for Mature. You have animated blood and violence. So yeah, we'll check that out. Kinda, it looks kind of like a Resident Evil type of thing. And then uh, we have a case for Air Force Delta, which I'll try to hunt down a loose copy of that game. But we have Zero Gunner 2, a burned Dreamcast game. Now, it's been a while since I played a burned Dreamcast game, but I used to do it all the time back in the day. And I'm pretty sure that most of us have played Burn Dreamcast games. I used to have a huge binder full of Burn Dreamcast games. And they used to be my favorite console because I used to play like all these Japanese games and these crazy homebrew things. The Dreamcast did not require any modification whatsoever. And then we have a Last Blade 2 for the Dreamcast. Now these games he burned years ago probably over 15 years ago and uh, he just came across them so to be quite honest I got rid of all my burned games so we'll eventually check out a uh, special episode on playing burned Dreamcast games and uh, these will be the two games that we play. Last Blade 2 
and zero gun or two. We'll check those out eventually. And then uh, now we have a second batch of games right here. We'll push these to the side for now. We'll uh, get back to those soon. Alright, so I picked up a few things from a uh, Japanese eBay store. Alright, so let's check this out. First game on the list here. These are all PlayStation games, Japanese PlayStation games. Horned Owl. This is a light gun game. Now I own the uh, the American version of this game, which is known as Project Horned Owl. And uh, I always want to have a complete copy of this. So what the heck? I saw it on his store. It had all the manuals, had all that stuff. So I'm very curious to play the Japanese version. I wonder if there's any differences. Let me see if I can get this closed without breaking it. These cases are a little worn out. And they're much more thicker than the American cases. Look at this. It's huge. And they have the American English font on one side and then we have the uh, Japanese font on the other side. The uh, next four games, I picked up a total of five games from this uh, Japanese store. So the next four games are quite the obscure game to find in Japan. These are usually American games. We have uh, Descent, which is kind of like a first person shooter, but in 360 degrees, so you can know, like spin and turn. Usually this was more common to be played on DOS. So I saw it there and I was like, you know what? This would make a really cool episode of Memory Lane, playing Descent on a Japanese PlayStation. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone has ever done that yet. So this is going to be a really obscure thing to take a look at. It's definitely an American game, uh, but it's in a Japanese copy of it. And uh, things get a little bit more stranger as we go down the list here. So the next one, this is really strange. I definitely can't wait to check this out. A Japanese copy of Alien Trilogy. It's a first person shooter made by Fox Interactive Acclaim. And uh... <laughs> I'm just really curious to play a Japanese copy of this game. This is definitely uh, going to be really, really interesting to see. I wonder if there's any differences. I played the uh, Saturn version. I played the DOS version. I've played... I don't think I've honestly played the uh, PlayStation version of this game yet. Well, actually, yeah, I have. I played it on the emulator, but... I have never played any Japanese version of this game on anything before, so this is going to be really interesting. And uh, I had no idea that, that this actually came out in Japan. Alright, so... By popular demand, the next two games are Doom games. It's uh, the last time I played Doom 64. Got a buttload of comments uh, demanding more Doom, Doom games. So, there it is. We got a Japanese copy of Doom. For the PlayStation, and we're gonna, we're definitely gonna be checking this out. And that is really, really bizarre to see a Japanese copy of Doom. And look at this. It says Doom, and it has the Japanese uh, little retail sticker thing right there. And it says the best Doom yet. John Romero, creator of Doom. So even John Romero. The guy who created Doom claims that this PlayStation version of Doom is the best. Uh, we'll definitely be putting that to the test. And this is just bizarre to see a Japanese copy of Doom on the PlayStation. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be something fun to check out on Memory Lane. And then last but not least we have a copy of Final Doom. Now this one I think was a little bit more expensive to get hold of, I don't know why. So I don't know exactly what the differences are between Doom and Final Doom. Uh, maybe it combined, combines Doom 1 and 2 together, I have no idea. Uh, it says, Final Doom, living to the tail if possible. What? Hmm. 
this doesn't quite make sense to me, but let's go inside the case here. Got a black disc, Final Doom, PlayStation, nothing really, really it looks like it's never been played. I mean, it's nice clean disc, no scratches, nothing. Yeah, for some reason this is really expensive, this game. So yeah, those are the recent game pickups that we have come across here. Let's, let's take a look at this one more time. Let's see if we can zoom out here so we can see what the hell we got. Yeah, check that out. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, eventually playing all these games one by one on future episode of Memory Lane. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll check those out. Especially the Game Boy games. I definitely enjoy playing the Game Boy games. We'll be definitely checking out the Ninja Turtles and uh, playing Doom in Japanese. I am very curious. So yeah, that's gonna be happening soon. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane. Don't forget, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And let me know what you think of a Japanese copy of Doom, Burned Dreamcast games, Blue Stinger on the Dreamcast, and all these awesome Game Boy games right here. Yeah, which one do you want to see first? Comment down below and let me know.